Okay, this is how it starts. You're woken up by a strange sound. Not the alarm, though. It's 5 a.m. After a few seconds, you realize the strange sound is a knock on the window. But you live on the 12th floor. Who or what could be knocking? Window cleaners? You live in an ordinary apartment building, not a skyscraper with offices. The knocking is getting stronger. You muster up the courage and go to the window, reach for the curtain, and abruptly pull it aside. What you see is fantastic! There are flying or floating small fish outside your window. Thousands of them! A shoal of sardines rising directly to the sky. A few knock on your window as they pass. There are so many sardines, you can't see what's going on outside. But as the last fish flies by, the full picture opens before you. Large and small fish fly between the houses. Octopuses cut through the air with their tentacles into a rain cloud. A huge whale is slowly drifting toward the horizon. Above the roof of a nearby house, two sharks chase four sea lions. A neighbor waves to you. He holds a fishing rod from the window and waits for the fish to bite. A school, no, a flock of dolphins flies past your window. They cheerfully whistle as if they're greeting you. What's going on? You turn on the TV. All the channels are playing the same thing. Sea creatures of the Earth have learned to fly, leaving the ocean and filling the air. All flights worldwide are canceled, and fishing vessels are idle in the seas, oceans, lakes, and rivers. And no one knows what happened. Well, you get dressed and go outside. Sea turtles crawl on the ground. They shiver, flap their fins, and rise into the air. A flock of shrimp flies past you. Has the ocean lost its gravity? What happened to all the water? You live in a port town close to the sea, so you decide to go to the coast. You reach the shore and see the water is calm. Gravity seems to be intact, but the sea creatures continue to take to the air. Six months later, people gradually get used to the new natural phenomenon. Fish occupy most of the sky. Some sea creatures penetrate the middle layers of the atmosphere. Smaller birds have almost disappeared since the presence of predatory fish in the sky. But birds of prey that hunt fish gained weight. They've eaten so much that they can't fly anymore. Plump gulls, albatrosses, pelicans, and eagles can hardly walk and barely support themselves. Planes stopped flying and ship travel increased. The world's ecosystem is completely changing. The ocean becomes lifeless. The number of bacteria, microbes, and various nutrients in the water move to the air. People get sick more often, and in some areas, it becomes difficult to breathe. When it rains, millions of shrimp and small fish fall to the ground along with the water. Many predatory mammals that have been feeding on fish begin to starve. They go out to the roads and cities to find food. Scientists research the flying creatures and find that they somehow change the structure of their lungs. But how fish got the ability to fly is still unknown. It seems nature just decided to push people out of their usual environment. Fishermen build balloons to fish in the sky. Some athletes throw a lasso at flying whales and ride them like huge horses. Though the landing can be difficult. Creatures that previously swam only in the very depths of the ocean settle at high altitudes. Researchers discover new, previously unknown fish species. From the ocean depths, a giant octopus rose into the air. Many call it the kraken. This monster has found a new home right on top of Mount Everest. Now everyone is afraid to climb this mountain. The most deep water creatures reach space. On the ISS, astronauts observe amazing animals flying past. They look like aliens from other planets, not Earth. In some areas, sharks descend to the ground for food. In these places, people are afraid to go out. Fishing companies buy huge Boeings and attach nets to it to catch fish in the air. But flights are not safe, especially when a whale suddenly appears smack dab in their path. 
Authorities impose curfews in many cities. People climb to the roofs and watch an incredible sight at night. Flying jellyfish floating in the air. Thanks to the bioluminescent protein in jellyfish, they glow. Stars in the sky mix with the neon transparent creatures. But be careful! Some of these jellyfish are very venomous. Some people were so fascinated by the beautiful jellyfishes that they touched them and ended up in the hospital. Squid, frightened by the new conditions, release ink into the air. When a lot of squids do this, the ink blots out the light from the sun. Massive traffic jams appear on the roads because electric eels fly through the streets and shock traffic lights. While all of humanity is looking up at the sky, almost no one has noticed what is happening down here. All over the world, people with a strange physical disability show up in hospitals. Weird holes form under people's ears. Doctors don't understand what they're dealing with. But then, one of the patients jumps into a lake, and it turns out he can breathe underwater. All people grow gills. It's night. A strong storm begins. You live in a coastal town and watch the raging sea through the window. Lightning strikes through the sky. Huge waves crash against the shore, and a downpour turns the sand into wet clay. In the morning, a lot of fish are going to be washed ashore, you think, and go to bed. It's some strange noise that wakes you up. It's like hundreds of thousands of hands clapping near your window. You go outside and see a huge crowd of people standing by the sea. The popping sound is getting louder, and its source is tons of fish washed ashore. They've been here for several hours, but are still alive. They kick and beat their slippery bodies against the sand. You see carp, trout, sardines, and even a few huge great white sharks. They are full of energy, snapping their big toothy jaws. Somehow, all fish can now breathe air like humans. You help other people throw the fish back into the water. You can see them swim away into the sea depths. But some of them come up and swim close to the surface, enjoying fresh air. You've helped almost all the fish, except for the sharks. A rescue crane arrives. It lifts each of the sharks by its tail, one by one, then carries the fish toward the sea and lets it go. From the news, you learn that air-breathing fish have been washed ashore not only in your city. People find them on beaches all over the world. Scientists and marine researchers have already gone on a sea expedition to study this unique phenomenon. Later in the evening, they announce the results of their study. Now, every sea creature that has gills can also breathe through newly developed lungs. They can stay on land for as long as they want. They only need to have some water to drink, just like other living creatures. Fish absorb water and pass it through their gills. The gills have special receptors that draw the air out of the water and send it to the fish's bloodstream. This way, their bodies receive doses of oxygen needed for life. After this, carbon dioxide is formed. It enters the fish's blood, then passes through the gills and is released back into the water. The ability to breathe through gills has remained unchanged, but the anatomy of these creatures is different now. They've developed lungs and a respiratory tract. When a fish is in the water, it closes this tract and blocks access to the lungs. This way, water doesn't get there. But when the fish is on the surface, it closes its gills and opens access to the lungs through the mouth. This amazing metamorphosis doesn't bring significant changes to the world, yet. Dolphins and whales have always had lungs. Air passes through their nostrils, which are located on the top of their heads. This opening is called the blowhole. Dolphins come up to the surface, fill their lungs with air, and go under the water for a few minutes again. Now. Not only dolphins, but also all the other sea creatures swim close to the surface. You take a boat to go on a sea trip and see the shocking phenomenon with your own eyes. The further you get from the shore, the more fish you notice in the water. They jump out high and dive back in like dolphins. They seem to be enjoying their new ability. There are so many of them. Several dozen fish jump into your boat. You throw them back into the sea. You see a huge fin and turn off the engine. A shark is swimming a few hundred feet away from you. It's about the size of your boat. 
Fortunately, it's distracted by other fish and is not going to hunt you. You turn around and go back to the shore. Dusk is falling. You can see city lights. The sea is filled with glowing jellyfish and phytoplankton. Because of this, the water is gleaming purple and blue. You're fascinated by this sight and don't notice the lights of the town suddenly turn off. You can hear people screaming. The closer you get to the shore, the louder the screams and sounds of something getting crushed. Finally, you arrive at the pier, get out of the boat, and find that a part of the embankment has been ruined. Boats are overturned, streetlights are broken, electrical wires are torn. A long trail of transparent, viscous liquid leads from the pier to the town. You slip on this slime once or twice. The streets are empty. Cars are abandoned, windows and houses are broken, there's garbage everywhere, and the road is also covered with ooze. You hear some kind of popping sound coming from a dark alley. It's approaching you. A small octopus appears on the road. It's moving in a spider-like manner. With the help of its tentacles, the creature climbs a car, jumps onto the wall, and crawls up. After this octopus, another one comes out. Several squid follow it. Some of them are clumsily crawling towards you. You take a step back. More and more squid and octopuses appear out of the dark alley. Some of them reach the size of a car. You see a bicycle lying on the ground and get on it. You're traveling through deserted streets with an army of octopuses crawling behind you. The ground starts shaking under the wheels of your bike. You hear a deafening roar of an unknown beast. You look back and immediately regret doing it. A huge monster, the size of a five-story building and similar to a squid, breaks the wall of the nearest house with one hit of its colossal tentacle. The creature has come out of the darkest corner of the sea. Ever since the animal got a pair of lungs, it's been looking forward to taking a breath of fresh, clean air. Instincts brought it to the surface, where it smelled a lot of food. The city lights attracted the Kraken's attention. Now get a load of this. A red whirlwind sweeps along the coast of Australia and heads toward the nearest city. This tornado is unique, not by its color, but by what is hidden inside it. These are great white sharks, hammerhead sharks, tiger sharks, and bull sharks. Shark! They fly inside the hurricane, snapping their jaws and trying to grab a piece of meat. People who look at this bizarre phenomenon from the outside think that they've got something in their drinks. But this is reality. A shark tornado can really exist or not? Yeah, let's find out. In 1877, a rather unusual tornado struck a farm in Southern California. About six small alligators about one foot in length fell from the sky that day. In 1894, a tornado traveled through England and dropped poisonous jellyfish on people. There's a version that tadpoles instead of jellyfish fell on the ground that day, but it still sounds quite strange. In Kentucky in 1876, there was a black humor rain. Hmm, doesn't sound funny to me. Pieces of meat fell from the sky. The locals tasted them and said it was like mutton or venison. However, later, birds discovered that a flock of buzzards had flown over that area. The birds felt unwell and regurgitated their lunch right in the air. And then, I assume, so did the locals who tried it. In 1947, fish fell from the sky in Marksville, Louisiana. In 2005, there was a rain that contained thousands of frogs in Serbia. In 2010, a small town in Australia was hit by a rain of perches. You know, fish. And now, imagine that all these strange phenomena were caused by one villainous corporation where evil geniuses work. And one of them is you. So, you decide to make the most incredible natural cataclysm in history. A tornado of sharks. Or Sharknado. It seems like it's impossible, but you're going to try. Because you have nothing better to do. So first, we need to understand what a water spout is. It's a column of rotating air filled with clouds. This vortex occurs during a thunderstorm when warm air releases a large amount of heat. This heat becomes the energy that moves the rising air currents. This warm, moist air goes up and cold, dry air descends. The difference in temperatures preserves instability and helps tornadoes develop. 
When it forms over the water, a tornado becomes a water spout. It can draw in particles of seawater, some objects, and even fish. But everything depends on the strength of this vortex. You've probably seen it when tornadoes lifted cars into the air or tore the roofs off of buildings. There's a video on the internet where a tornado raises cows into the air. And an ordinary cow weighs about 1,400 pounds. Now, in comparison, the great white shark is about 4,400 pounds. If a tornado could lift several cows, it could cope with a shark. But besides the great white one, there are tiger sharks, bull sharks, and hammerhead sharks. All of them weigh less. Therefore, there's no doubt that a tornado could possibly lift them into the air, too. Okay, now we can assume it's in the realm of possibilities. The next step is to create a real tornado. To do this, you need to heat the air and then make it rotate. The cold air will start to go down and you will get a whirlwind. One engineer from Canada named Lewis built devices that created tornadoes. He made several prototypes before assembling a real vortex engine. According to him, anyone can do it. However, these vortices were small. His device created thin jets of air that swirled and produced many tornadoes, which then quickly dissipated due to strong winds. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.